In a democracy, agreement is not essential, but participation is. But participation is. Participation is. It's a responsibility that goes back to the founding of our country. A need for every American. Every American. Republican. Republican. Democrat. Democrat. Independent. To inform themselves about America's role. America's role in the world. To keep America competitive. Competitive. And defend our common interests. In a dangerous and often unpredictable world. Join us. Join us. As we discuss today's most critical global issues. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. For great decisions. Prepare. The pair. Prepare to discuss the world. Welcome to Great Decisions, where Americans make tough choices on U.S. foreign policy. I'm Ralph Begleiter. If you have, you know, people that are willing to go out and blow themselves up and take, you know, innocent lives with you, yeah, it's a possibility. It's a scary possibility. We've learned a lot of lessons, and I think the best lesson that we've learned is that it's best to spread our liberal ideals by example and not by force. Americans, because they have good hearts, tend to respond to serious humanitarian problems. The strategic part leaves me cold. There are many, many ways and examples that I think we don't set a tone for the rest of the world. We just really don't. Peter just called me nobody here. Um, I, I think the disaster <laughs> there was entirely predictable. I mean, it was easy to see the housing bubble. We had house prices way out of line with the historic, historic trend that had been established over 100 years. It really comes down to enforcement. You can have all of these bodies and rules and laws but unless someone actually enforces it responsibly, it's not going to help at all. And if anything, it just causes more problems. I worry that it might be running out of gas. And that that the European th Union might yes. be running out of gas? Yes. I can't help asking you this. Can you actually say with a straight face that the goal of our sanctions against Cuba was to contain Cuba? It wasn't to get rid of Fidel Castro. It wasn't to improve the human <laughs> rights performance no, of I'm... the communist government <laughs> of Cuba. Well, that's the danger. The danger and I think uh, Gary's right here, presidents on the feel-good side of this often overpromise, overcommit, and the policy goals are often unrealistic. The United States, the greatest uh, symbol of democracy, freedom, and opportunity, just 90 miles away, uh, we're not there, and we should be, and we will have the most positive influence on our neighbors 90 miles from our shores. What's the U.S. going to look like in terms of power 10 years from now? I see two options. One is the U.S. working effectively with China and the rising powers to keep the world safe. The other is a U.S. that has drawn in on itself, is relying on military force, and isn't making the world a better place. And I don't know which it will be. 